you put your Lake Highlands house on the market envisioning a quick sale with multiple offers that would drive up the price well to well over asking, but instead haven't received any offers and the showing requests have been few and far between, then you're probably asking why. Well, in this two-part video series, I'll go over the seven most common reasons homes will linger on the market and let you know what you can do to turn that ship around so that you can stop wringing your hands with worry and start signing contracts with joy. Having your listed home just sit is frustrating to say the least, but you shouldn't wait any longer to make the needed changes especially if your home's total days on market is 30 or more. A home will almost always sell for the most amount of money in the first 30 days. And for every day that it doesn't sell, it will statistically sell for less. So if attempts to sell your home have stalled, you need to quickly determine if one of these seven common roadblocks could be the culprit and apply a swift correction to get your sale back on track. The number one reason a house is not selling is because the price is too high. I've heard it said, when a house isn't selling, it's either condition or price. And really, it's price. Because for the right price, a home will sell in any condition. Pricing a home for sale is deceivingly complex. To predict what buyers would pay, you need to carefully review recent sales and make dollar adjustments to your property based on competitive differences. 80% of an agent's value is knowing how to strategically price a home. The other 20% is knowing how to present your home in marketing. As agents, we have access to the necessary information and tools that provide understanding of where a house should be priced. How do you know if you've priced your home too aggressively? One way is to listen to the feedback you're getting from people at open houses and showings. Were they disappointed at the home's quality compared to the price? You can also browse local listings. If your home is priced higher than nearby homes with better features and more upgrades, it's a telltale sign that the problem is probably price. What's the fix? Well, in most cases, it's time for a price drop. A price cut may sound like the kiss of death for getting the value you hoped for, but in reality, price reductions are quite common and sometimes necessary to reel in buyers. According to data from the National Association of Realtors, 22% of recent sellers closed on their home after one price reduction. So how much should you drop the price? Well, you don't want to be the house that drops the price $1,000 every week. So I'd recommend a significant price reduction to get the job done. If a listing is getting a lot of showings, but no offers, a 1% markdown might entice the right buyers. But if there are only a few showings, you might need a 2 or 3% price reduction. It's also important to be mindful of online price filters. Buyers generally search in $25,000 to $50,000 increments, so it is savvy to try and step into that next lower price bracket to get the property in front of the right buyers. The second reason your house may not be selling is that you just missed the market's peak. Many sellers are still adjusting to the rebalancing of the housing market, expecting to quickly receive multiple offers over the listing price as occurred during the seller's market of 2021 and into early 2022. But when higher interest rates came rolling in, the market quickly pumped the brakes. I'll often hear of sellers who knew of a house down the street with a similar floor plan that sold in two days for $20,000 over asking price. But even if the finishes are nicer than the comp, in a mere four months since the neighbor's house sold, the market may have really slowed, causing the need for a reduction. What's the fix? Make sure your agent's keeping up with what's going on in the market and examining new comps as they come in to see if things are shifting and then be ready to adjust if needed. The third reason you may not be selling, you've got a specific problem to address. Even if a showing doesn't provide you with a buyer, it gives you something important. Intel. Showing feedback is extremely important. Your agent should be asking what the buyers thought of the home. What's wrong with this home? What would need to change to make you want to buy this home? If you're getting the same answer from multiple people, you know you have a problem. So what's the fix? Once you've identified that there's an issue, you can work to mitigate it. For example, if multiple buyers say your house is too dark, you can add lighting, declutter, or hire someone to clean the windows. If buyers are having trouble envisioning something specific like where to hang a TV in a living room full of windows or how to fit a king size bed into a smaller master bedroom, then you can update your staging to illustrate a solution. If the fix is more costly than you're willing to pay, then you may be back to yeah, price reduction. <laughs> of course, some things can't be changed. What if your homeowners association dues are high or your street is always clogged with cars going back and forth to the stadium? Well, again, 
Christ Cures All. Now that we've covered the top three reasons in part one of why your house isn't selling, be sure to watch part two of this video series for the final four reasons to see if one of those is what's holding your house back. If you'd like more information on buying, selling, or living in Lake Highlands, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.